Alright, so good day learners. So today I'm going to discuss about endocrine system. So for our objective for today, identify the parts and functions of endocrine system. So as you can he see here, so we have the different organs under the endocrine system. We have the pineal gland, hypothalamus, pituitary, thyroid, parathyroids, thymus, adrenals, pancreas, ovaries, and testes. And endocrine system is one of the part of body systems in our body. And when we say endocrine system, it composes of glands that secrete different types of hormones that affect every cell, every organ, and functions of our body. Also, it is essential in regulating growth and development, metabolism, and also the reproductive processes and the mood. Now, so endocrine system, this one, um, one of the part of 11 body systems in our body. So how does the endocrine system function? So we have what we call the endocrine gland, which secrete chemicals known as hormones. Yeah. So known as hormones, we have the endocrine gland that secretes chemicals known as hormones into the bloodstream, which carries them throughout the body. When a hormone in the blood reaches the target organ, it produces a notable effect and the endocrine system sends signals all over the body much like the nervous system but unlike the instant responses activated by the nervous system the effects can take a few hours or even weeks so for this time we are going to identify the different gland its location in the body and the hormones release and the functions of the hormones first and foremost we have what we call the pituitary gland so pituitary gland this one located at the base of the brain and it releases hormone such as such as the oxytocin this one so that one the function of that hormone is located in the tissue or organ of uterus and mammary glands and stimulate the uterine muscle and also releases milk by the mammary gland meaning um, this hormone is responsible for milk production in the mammary gland next we have the vasopressin when we say vasopressin um, that is also known as the anti-diuretic hormones okay so when we say the anti-diuretic vasopressin means um, stimulates or it prevents the excessive urine production all right so meaning in kidney so this one the so it it stimulates the water and reabsorption by the kidney so this one located in the kidney so she magsasabi if if si kidney ay magpo-produce pa ng urine or hindi na next we have what we call the growth hormone or the gh so this one is responsible for the growth and development ano? so the more na marami na re release na gh the more na mabilis kang tatangkad next we have what we call the ACTH or adrenocorticotrophic hormones so that one the ACTH um, is responsible for um, found in adrenal cortex and responsible for the immune system to maintain also the homeostasis because it stimulates the adrenal cortex to release glucocorticoids so when we say glucocorticoids um, responsible for the to maintain the immune system for example if there is uh, inflammation so that is uh, responsible on that for some stress 
So ACTH is responsible on that. Next, we have what we call the prolactin. So prolactin, uh, prolactin found in mammary glands stimulates the production of milk, then and secretion of the secretion from the mammary gland. Next, we have the LH or the luteinizing hormone. LH found in the gonads. Okay, so found in the gonads, example in the male and female reproductive, the test is in ovary. And that one, the LH in female stimulates the production ng egg cell or stimulates in the ovulation the growth of corpus luteum and the secretion of estrogen and progesterone. For male naman, it stimulates the production of testosterone or the production of sperm cell. Next, we have the FSH or the follicle stimulating hormone that is found in gonads also. So female stimulates the growth of follicles and secretion of estrogen and sa male naman stimulates the production of sperm cell. So meaning on that, they are all responsible for stimulates growth and controls the functions of the other glands. Next, we have the thyroid, thyroid gland. So thyroid gland located below the voice box and it releases hormones such as the thyroxine and calcitonin. So on the thyroid gland, when we say thyroxine, also known as the T4, located in the all tissues, and it increases the metabolic rate which regulate the growth and development. The other one we have the calcitonin. Calcitonin located in the bones, kidneys, and intestine. It, it inhibits the release of calcium from the bones all right or sometimes then yeah, the causes storage of calcium in the bones so that is the hormones so it's hormones tyroxine and calcitonin located in the thyroid so this one thyroid next we have what we call the parathyroid so parathyroid located in the neck or below the thyroid it releases the hormones called the pyrothyromone and when we say parathyromone, it controls the calcium levels in the body and normalizes the bone growth. The other one we have the thymus, yeah, this one, thymus. So thymus, yeah, this one, located in front of the heart and it releases hormones called the thymosine or either or T lymphocytes where it stimulates the maturation of the cells for the immune system okay meaning it enables the body to produce certain antibodies next we have adrenal gland so adrenal gland located on the top of the kidneys and it releases hormones called adrenaline. So I know if you are familiar, it is also known as the emergency hormone. Kaya mga tayong adrenaline rush. So it prepares the body for action, controls the heart rate, and breathing in times. So for example, nagmamadali like or may mga ano, parang emergency. So emergency hormone is adrenaline hormones because it is also pwede din siyang mag-release ng hormone na tinatawag natin epinephrine and norepinephrine na matatagpuan sa cardiac and other muscles next we have what we call pancreas so pancreas located between the kidneys so this one so if ito yung time ko ito yung adrenals so ito yung pancreas so pancreas between the kidneys and releases hormone called insulin and glucagon so insulin 
um, insulin located um, yeah so insulin so dun siya sa may ito yung hormones for from the pancreas at siya yung nagre-regulate ng blood sugar meaning kapag for example yung sa blood sugar natin kulang ng uh, halimbawa sobra yung sobra yung sugar sa blood so siya ang sasabihin ni pancreas mag-release ng hormone na insulin para ma-balance so on the other hand naman kapag naman labis uh, halimbawa kulang, kulang ka ng sugar, magre-release si pancreas ng hormone na glucagon para magkaroon ka ng blood sugar para ma-maintain yung blood sugar mo sa iyong katawan. So, responsible dun si pancreas. Next, we have, kaya nga dito may mga insulin, yung mga tinuturok, ano sa mga diabetes. Kasi meaning, labis yung su- blood sugar nila, kailangan mag-release si pancreas ng insulin na hormones. So, kapag hindi nakakapag-release ng insulin, nagkakaroon ng insulin deficiency, kaya nag-take ng medicine. Next, we have what we called the gland. Yeah, so we have what we called uh, the testes. Yan, testes to. We have the testes gland located on the lower abdomen located on the lower abdomen and releases hormone called the androgen and testosterone. So meaning it controls the control the maturation and male characteristics. So for the male characteristics for the production of sperm cell and the other one the secondary characteristics yung yung voice box yung muscle, development of muscle um, on the shoulder and also having the beard and mustache the other one we have ovary ovary located along the lower abdomen and so it's not included um, hormone release so we have estrogen and progesterone and for the function it influences female traits and support reproductive function meaning on that estrogen and progesterone um, it stimulates for estrogen it stimulates female characteristics and maturation of egg cell and in progesterone stimulates the development of the uterine lining yung pagkapal ng uterine lining if ever magkakaroon ka ng menstruation and the formation of placenta okay so that these two hormones are responsible so that's all those are the glands and different hormones and they are called the endocrine system so we have pineal gland located on the brain hypothalamus and pituitary so hypothalamus um regulate the anterior pituitary hormones all right so she regulate because mostly um si hypothalamus ang nagsasabi nagsasabi kay pituitary oh, mag-release ka na ng hormones ganun and the other parts we have pituitary thyroid gland parathyroid thymus adrenal pancreas ovary and the testes and these are the some disorders along with the endocrine system we have dwarfism meaning yung growth hormone hindi yung si pituitary gland or si hindi gaano nagre-release ng growth hormones kaya mabagal yung paglaki. Pag naman sobra yung ano ito, gigantism, pag sobra naman yung production ng growth hormones, pwede mamang siyang too much growth hormones. So pwede naman siyang excessive yung tol niya. The other one we have what we call the cretinism. These are the stunted physical and mental growth due to the defi- deficiency of the thyroid hormone. So, meaning may problema dun sa thyroid, kakaroon ng thyroid, cretinism. And the other one, pag naman nagsaswell yung thyroid gland, it could have a goiter. Kaya meron tayong 
pag hypothyroidism hypothyroidism meaning um, yung lack of iodine pag naman hyperthyroidism excessive iodine naman so hindi siya balance the other one so we have the diabetes so too much sugar in the blood yan dahil sobrang dami ng sugar sa blood it could cause diabetes meaning hindi na nagpa-function si pancreas to release insulin or nagkukulang na ng insulin deficiency so yan lacks of insulin pag naman pag naman kulang ng sugar mag-release si pancreas ng glucagon to maintain and balance the blood sugar level in the body ayan so that's all thank you very much for listening good day and god bless